Be active, not pushy. Does being active, for instance, using an icebreaker, equal being pushy? Active exhibiting can certainly be done in a pushy, obnoxious way, a way that turns off potential customers. When following our five steps to a successful sales conversation, active exhibiting should always be done in a friendly, conversational, and non-intimidating way. As we will discuss, the core of active exhibiting is active listening. Carefully listening to the potential customer, not just talking at him or her. Unfortunately, we have all encountered a pushy sales rep who ignores these cardinal rules. For instance, in the mall that I frequent, I often encounter the dreaded pretzel guy. This guy's job is to offer soft pretzel samples to passerbys. Here's a reenactment of pretzel guy in action. Want to try a pretzel? Uh, no thanks. Oh, come on. You know you want to try a pretzel. Pretzel guy is active, all right, but his icebreaker is delivered in an aggressive and unfriendly tone. Pretzel guy acts like passerby has an obligation to stop and talk to him. As a result, passerby feels irritated and imposed on. Compare pretzel guy's icebreaker with fancy water guy's icebreaker. The difference should be clear. Furthermore, Pretzel Guy responded to passerbys, no thanks, with even more rudeness. In the Step 4 lecture on Next Steps, we'll talk about much better ways to respond to a no thanks without being pushy and still staying focused on sales goals. Will passive exhibiting ever result in more sales? It can be tempting to think that sometimes passive exhibiting works better. For instance, if your potential customer is shy or prefers to browse before talking to a sales rep, is it better in those cases to wait for the customer to initiate a conversation? You might be thinking that we are biased towards active exhibiting because we're in marketing and we're super social people. On the contrary, we do not like talking to people. In a department store, I am the customer that doesn't like being approached by sales staff. However, despite my own aversion to talking to strangers, I can assure you, a well-executed, active exhibiting strategy will always get more sales than a passive one, even when selling to someone who is a little antisocial like me. Why is this? First off, an icebreaker creates the opportunity for conversation. Most people aren't motivated to initiate conversation with a stranger unless they have to in order to accomplish their own goal. However, if you initiate a friendly conversation, those same folks will talk to you without fear, feeling irritated. The worst thing that will happen is that they will ignore your icebreaker and walk on by. And what's so bad about that? They'll forget about your whole interaction the moment they've passed, and so should you. Secondly, an icebreaker lets you plant seeds to turn a no thank you into a future sales conversation. Often in sales, a no is actually a maybe. The potential customer just says no as a way to temporarily buy themselves time to think or browse. Much like grandma who replies to your offer to set up auto pay for her, a no might just mean, now I have some fears about that honey and I need to think. Don't boss me. Very often the second or third time you offer to set up auto pay to grandma that no turns into a yes. So then, how do you respond effectively to a no that is really a maybe? We'll tell you in step four, next steps. For now, just remember that being active with an icebreaker gives you the chance to plant the seeds necessary to turn that no thanks into a future sale. Finally, icebreakers communicate availability. The weird thing is this, potential customers who don't like to be approached by sales reps still get irritated quickly if they change their mind and you seem unavailable. Got your head in a book? Talking to a colleague? Many customers will opt not to bother you or impose. To recap, be active, not pushy. Always deliver icebreakers with a friendly, non-intimidating, and conversational tone. In this lecture, we saw Pretzel Guy being pushy. Don't be Pretzel Guy. Passive exhibiting is never ever better. 
Why? An icebreaker creates the opportunity for conversation, plants seeds for future sales, and communicates availability.